going to be our first Aspen Fire Up here in Mansfield, Pennsylvania. So we're actually going to use a traditional match and we have paper and kindling. Should be ready to go. Quite a celebration. <laughs> It's a beautiful day. What is it? November 7th, 2008. And we're going to turn on the blower fan, close this door so we get combustion. Turn on the blower fan. And then we'll uh, take a peek at it about 30 seconds and see what we have there. Okay, this is about two minutes into the sequence from lighting the match. During this phase, we're going to have some, some light smoke uh, until the kindling catches, burns, and we'll add more fuel. And until the secondary burn chamber, or the gasifier down below actually ignites, it won't actually burn clean. But we're going to show you through this sequence so you can actually understand it. Um, I want to open this up so you can see the kindling so far. So there's our material that we lit just about three minutes ago. And you've got, um, you know, that's our white oak strips. It's kiln dried material. It's kind of nice stuff for kindling. And that's going to burn really well for uh, uh, to get this primary burn going. We'll be, I'll close the door, we'll probably add more fuel in about three more minutes and we'll just see how the stack behaves at that point, okay? We are five minutes into the sequence. The primary fuel is now burning clean or experiencing a clean stack. That's because the gasifier is actually doing its part and normally you don't open this but if you lower the camera you'll see see that the gases are actually burning there. We have a gasification burn occurring. Now that's not a raging fire because we don't have a lot of fuel. But I'm going to go ahead and close the door back up and we'll check the progress again in another three minutes. Okay, we're running pretty clean now from the first batch of wood and the first firing. We're going to go ahead and add more fuel and see how the unit experiences um, the uh, fuel. Uh, if we're going to make smoke, probably we will make a little bit for another couple of minutes because it's going to flash off these, uh, these surfaces. We are supposed to close the, turn off the draft blower. And uh, we've got, that's the remaining uh, fuel from the first fire. And uh, we're experiencing some condensation. And we're actually, what, 79 degrees or so? I guess, uh, well, 105 degrees on our 75 gallon reservoir, so the temperature's coming up slowly. I'd say we're 18, 20 minutes into the experience here. So we'll go ahead and watch that for a few seconds. It might actually clean up after about 30 seconds. Woo! Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good, David, huh? Yeah. Less than 30 seconds. Yeah, so that cleaned up in about 5 to 10 seconds. Yep. Okay. So, Beautiful. well, we'll do this again in another 10 minutes. We'll add okay, we're heavy fuel. Just over 140 degrees now, about 30 minutes into our firing. And we're going to add heavier fuel now. So, we, you can maybe look at the flu gases, real, real clean burning with the kindling that we've been burning. And I'm going to go ahead and load some more fuel. Uh, 
uh, turn the blower fan off. Uh, maybe you want to take a look at the condition of the wood in there. Just add a few logs. Oh, that's nice. Still, it's not real heavy wood, but uh, we'll get to that later. <laughs> so, watch this for a minute. We'll see how long it takes to have the flue gases clean. Look at that, less than a minute. And we could take a peek at the secondary burn chamber. You want to do that? Sure. Again, something you should never do at home. <laughs> you can hear it, actually. Got a good view of it? Yep. Okay. That up. That's cool. So that's that's where the energy is coming from mainly. Probably 50-60% of the real performance in terms of BTU production would be in the secondary burn chamber. That fire that you just saw there in the bottom. That's why it's called the gasification burn. What you'd experience would be, um, in terms of temperatures from the chimney flue, would be about 300 degrees. So we're going uh, able to harvest 1,800 to 2,000 degree temperatures from that gas gasification burn and move that temperature into the water and uh, cool it in the process so the flue gases are exiting at 300 degrees.